Okay, ladies, the next step of IVF is a little bit more intense. As soon as you retrieve your eggs, they immediately put you on progesterone shots. Progesterone is a very important hormone for you to get pregnant. It helps your uterus to create a thick lining. If you have a thick lining, it's easier for your embryo to implant. And a lot of times, uh, women who do get pregnant, and if their progesterone levels are not rising up and they suddenly drop, that's a lot of times the cause for miscarriage. While my egg is fertilized and dividing, and we wanted to divide two cells, then four cells, six, eight, and so on every single day, while it's doing that, my ass was bullseyed for progesterone shots. Remember shooting all of the hormones into your belly fat with this needle? Look at your tiny little needle. It's nothing compared to the needle that is given to you to shoot into your butt. I know it's terrifying. Luckily, I had a good nurse to help me out with the process. Yeah. <laughs> What you're gonna do for the rest of the day? I'm gonna do a little bit of gardening. I'm gonna train the dog. I'm gonna think about your pretty face. Oh, I see. Someone's playing up for the camera. Yeah. Well, no. I say that to you all the time. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna think about your pretty face all the time. Hi. You say that. <laughs> oh man. Great job, doctor. Doctor. We also got a call that we're going to be transferring my embryo on day three, not day five. So you wait until day five to see how it's continuing to progress. Um, by day three, our embryo divided up to nine cells and it was graded G minus. And I know what you're thinking, like, ooh, G is like so far away from A, but it's actually A minus. G minus just means good minus <laughs> i was told that it's better to transfer it on day three in case there's any abnormalities that might be happening in the embryo since we decided not to test it uh, it would be inside of my body which will uh, adjust any problems with the embryo because it's a way better atmosphere for the embryo to be in than in a dish somewhere in the lab I honestly didn't document enough, but your embryo transfer happens when you're fully awake, no anesthesia, you get to see it on the screen, and you see this tiny little dot being inserted into your uterus. It's mind-blowing, and this is the only photo I have taken of the process. It literally looks like what the planet Earth looked like from space, like a tiny little dot in the middle of the darkness. So the next steps now is to continue to wait. Two more days, fertilized egg will continue to divide. And then after that, it should implant. And once it implants, we're gonna start getting pregnancy levels showing up on a blood test or home pregnancy test. Let me know if you have any questions. Moosh. Bye.